black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. So I welcome you all to the a bunch of shit I had in the fridge, which is what we're calling this. <laughs> Cause really I just, I had this last cheese bun, which these cheese buns are smacking just to let you know, uh, light toaster, as you saw. And then I had that big old field tomato I needed to get to use it. It was starting to go. And of course we have the arugula from steak sandwich. I had a few strips of bacon that have been in the freezer for a while, a little nub of cheese. And I'm conflicted about these pickles, but we'll see how they work. I think it should be good. Anyway, a random creation that we're gonna smash together right now. And it is so hefty. I got that money phone sandwich, right? I'm always doing head comparisons. I want, I'm so tempted to, to cut it in half and do a cross section. Also, it is evening, it's about nine o'clock. It's a beautiful night and the sun is about to set as we eat this, but man, I'm so tempted to cut it in half. I'm gonna cut it in half. Sorry, feels like the right move. Felt like the right thing to do, stacked and loaded. Like I said, soft toast on that cheese bun, but we got the whipped herb, herb cream cheese and all the other things. So let's get a bite. Once as, or as per usual, forgot a napkin. Give me one sec. Uh, I need one more. I need another bite to understand it. Not that bite though. The center bite with everything. But I can tell you right now, it's already so good. Especially in this weather. Okay. had my reservations about the pickles. The pickles are making this right now. There's the acid that was required against the richness of everything else. Got richness of the cheese, cream cheese, a cheddar cheese, the bacon. Mm. Sharp shallot cutting through.
for juicy tomato, peppery arugula. This is better than what I thought it'd be in my head. But yo, shout out those whipped cream cheeses. They're so much better than the regular cream cheese. Polar pop, just water. I did get a root beer earlier today. My favorite ice, the small fine crush. Just the greatest. All right, this second half is just dedicated to all of y'all. Uh, it took a lot of comments, it's like 220, but the video I did with the, the lowest I've ever been type thing. A lot of love, a lot of people battling same things or have battled same things. Come out the other side all good. Love to hear it. Um, gives me, you know, hope and it just keeps my fuel pumping. To elaborate how I would want to elaborate to everybody would be you know essays of work so this is a general mass thank you for that video um i have yet to read through even all the comments because they just got me in the heart and they make me feel like good but also sad for just in general like that people go through these things and the struggles and the, just all the pain involved so i really uh i really really appreciate all the comments on that video and i've read a, like quite a lot of them It feels good to be heard, understood, and feel that like, as much as we all feel alone in these things, it's like we're not alone. There's so many people who are going through the exact same things. And it just gives you that like feeling that you have a group, that you have an identity, that um, you're just like not, not as outcasted as, as you feel when you're going through it alone, right? And that there is a collective that you, you belong to and they know what's up just like you know what's up so i just wanted to dedicate most of this vid to just acknowledging and recognizing that and also that the sandwich is incredible Also, <laughs> I just don't get it. The other day I walk out to the, 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 the dead bird scene. Then right beside where I park, there's a telephone pole and somebody just left a pallet, like a half torn up nail ridden pallet. And I'm just like, where, how do you get a pallet? Like, even if you like, where do you carry it from? They're very heavy. And I'm like, did this person just assume because I have a truck that I can just deal with the pallet? 
I did. I took it to the dump. But where does a full pallet just materialize from? I don't know. And then today I roll up and right in front of my driveway is an absolutely smashed bottle of Blanco tequila. Huge piece of glass, so for fuck's sakes, I gotta go clean it up. Surely some ruckus people just walking down, probably sharing shots out of the bottle and then just fucking There are just some insanely inconsiderate people that live in this world. I'm sure I'm done, I've done my fair share of dumb shit, but never like that level of just disrespect. Like, hey, here's a driveway in a vehicle. Let's just smash this bottle right here on the road. Where like, you know, pets and people and just people are walking, biking, uh, don't want to get like glass and vehicle tires isn't that crazy. Like it'd have to be pretty insane, but just any, just for anybody, like what the fuck, you know what I mean? Just why? Just why? Like if you're gonna get rid of it, like litter it, so maybe just like throw it in a bush or something if it's that inconvenient for you to carry the rest of your travels, like just maybe in a bush or on the grass, just don't smash it. Anyways, idiots of the world. But yeah, uh, random impromptu. I was just sitting on my back deck and I was hungry like for dinner and I had that bun that I needed to use. And then I was just looked in the fridge. I was like, okay, there's some shit here that I can cock a sando out of. And then just say my thank yous to you guys on that video. So thank you very much. Uh, another sandwich that you can make. It is, it was surprisingly, not surprisingly, but really fucking good. <laughs> like really good. A remake for sure. All right, peace.